Hi, it's Tracy from Brandon Reader Services. Just wanted to do you a video tutorial on how to take the vaginal swab if you're using our psychology services. So we'll send you a kit and we'll send you a pack. You'll have a form which you'll need to photocopy if you're likely to need more than one sample analysing. You'll get three swabs ready to do one to three tests. Um, gloves which I've put on already and there'll be a biohazard bag in there, which I haven't put out, but the, you'll get one of those to send your return swap in. So I've got bingo today just to demonstrate for you. Let me just get her in position. Come here, sweetheart. Turn around. There we go, good girl. So these are the sterile swabs that you get, totally enclosed. What you need to do is twist the top just to break the seal, and then it comes there with a little handle. So that's totally sterile don't touch it, ready to go. But before you start to insert your swab, what you need to do is just clean up this area, clean up the vulval region, make sure there's no dirt, remove excessive bleeding, and then prepare your swab. Good girl, bingo. And what we're going to do with the swab is aim upwards to the top of the tail here. Um, and then when you meet the resistance, I'm going to elevate the swab to go in straight. You'll see what happens. Tail's in the way, bingo, sweetheart. Alright, good girl. Good. Good. Now I've met the resistance, that's just a pseudo cervix. Good up, my darling. And then I just need to gently push through that pseudo cervix all the way in. Having got it all the way in, just rotate your swab a few times. Just to pick up the cells. Then I'm coming straight back out and then down to lower it out of the vulva. Good girl. That's your swab, all ready to send to me. Just pop it back, put the cap on, pop it back in its holder, good girl. Possibly a little bit of tape round there just to make sure it doesn't dislodge in the post and then send it back to us in the envelope. Okay, thank you.